This is Jamie with Stonemeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about cancellations. If you haven't run a Kickstarter campaign, it may come as a surprise to you that during the campaign, it is completely normal for about 5% of the backers at some point during the project to cancel their pledge. When this happens, whenever any backer cancels their pledge, you'll get an email notification from Kickstarter saying this person canceled their pledge. There will be no explanation, it'll just say this person canceled their pledge. I found in my early projects that these reminders were really, really disheartening. And at first I wondered if I had done something wrong. Was, had I sent a, a, a bad project update? Was, was, had I interacted poorly with the backer? And I'm sure in some cases that was true. But I found through several polls by me and other creators that for the most part, in like 95% of the time, it has nothing to do with you or your project. It just means maybe that person doesn't have as much money as they thought, or they backed on a whim and found out that the project wasn't really for them after they looked into it, um, or maybe they backed another project and they had to allocate their resources around. It's nothing personal against you in the vast majority of the cases. But it feels personal when you get a cancellation. It feels like you've been rejected. So my recommendation, and something that I started doing, is that I filtered out um, these cancellation notifications. I use Gmail for my email and so in Gmail you can set a filter to say when I get this particular type of email just delete it or, or archive it so that you don't have to actually see it. Now this may seem like you are ignoring important data um, but as I said in, in the most case in, for the most case this isn't about you. This isn't, there isn't anything that you can actually learn from this data. The only reason where you might want to keep an eye on it and, and learn from cancellations is if a bunch of people cancel all at once. Then usually that means that you have done something and you don't need the notifications to tell you that. You'll see the, the funding level drop on your project page if you do something really dumb. And that's a case where you can go to your remaining backers and say, hey guys, what do you think happened here? Why do you think so many people left? And if you can act on that and improve the project, then that might be an opportunity for you to contact those backers who left and say, hey, I think this is why you left and I fixed it. My bad, I, I've listened to your subtle feedback and I've changed it. But for the most part, cancellations are just a natural part of the Kickstarter environment and they're okay. And I, and I, I would recommend not letting them impact your emotional health by being rejected over and over throughout a project by filtering out those cancellations. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. You can go to my, my Kickstarter Lessons blog and comment on the blog posts about cancellations and filtering cancellations. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks.